Bassmasters Classic was released on the Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis in 1995. You play as one of various selectable fictional characters who compete in a bass fishing tournament, where you have to finish within the top qualifiers to move on to the next lake, and there are four lakes total. You drive your boat around in an overhead view, using a fish finder as a guide to a good spot to fish, and after casting out, you're brought to the underwater view where you maneuver your bait around trying to get the bass to bite. There are other fish like trout and pikes that try to get on your line. You can catch these guys if you want, but they're not going to count for anything in the competition, so you'll want to steer clear. You can only carry up to five fish in the live well at once, so once you get all five, all you can do is catch something larger than your current smallest fish to replace it with. There's a clock at the bottom of the screen. The day runs from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. You've got a 20 minute grace period after that, so you've got to get back by 3.20 for the weigh-in or your catches from the day won't count. Of course, this isn't in real time, the clock is accelerated. Each competition lasts for three days and the top competitors advance to the next lake. The number of qualifiers varies from lake to lake. Or rather, you need to finish toward the top. All the other competitors will advance anyway, but whatever, that's video game logic. Fighting the fish is pretty much a button mash, but you've got to sit back and let the fish tire itself out too sometimes, especially when it's really tugging away, or you could snap your line and lose your lure, which you'll have to buy in the bait shop. You start out with 100 bucks to spend on rods, reels, bait, line, boat engines, and fish finders. You'll earn more cash as you advance through the tournament and upgrade your equipment. Different baits work better than others when it comes to catching bass. You've got to experiment a bit and see what they like. Although in the Genesis version, it's a bit more of a pain in the ass. You not only need the right bait, but you have to maneuver it to make it look more lifelike. And the controls for doing so are different from lure to lure, which can be all referenced when scrolling through your lures. You have to be a lot more tricky to get the bass to bite in the Genesis version, whereas in the SNES, they're way more likely as long as you get close enough. Aside from that, the only other differences between the two consoles versions are minor, mainly the quality of the graphics. Like usual, it's a little more refined on the SNES, and the water just plain looks clearer. Besides competing, you also want to be on the lookout for the Ficious Monstrositus, a legendary Jimungus fish that was once hooked by this old fart's father who wants to put it on display in the nearby museum in exchange for a handsome reward. This fish is hanging about in a hidden area of one of the lakes and is a hell of a fight when you get it hooked. This fish is exclusive to the Genesis version, however. The gameplay is pretty, I don't want to say monotonous, but samey. It's just drop your bait, get them to bite, and then exercise the shit out of your thumbs with the fish fighting. But then again, I mean, it is a fishing game. There really is only so much you can do with it. I guess they could have developed some kind of mini game to get the fish hooked, like a power meter similar to the kicking meters of football games, or a timing based button combination like Parappa the Rapper. But I think something like that sucks a lot of the spirit out of the game and makes it feel like it's a whole different genre people that will like this game are the ones that enjoy fishing to some degree anyway, so you might as well cater to the purists. Not that it's a total simulation, otherwise you wouldn't even have this underwater view in the first place, nor would you have this much directional control over your lure, but that's just grasping at straws. The saving grace for this game is the competition element, and the race for the most poundage of fish. Having stakes keeps you interested and forces you to find a healthy balance between patience and urgency as the clock ticks down, and the mysterious Ficious Monstrositus also adds a layer of intrigue as you try to hunt down this legendary catch. The bottom line is that although there isn't a whole lot of dynamics to this game, it can still be a fun experience, it just depends on if you're into the subject matter or not, it's not for everyone. And that wraps up this edition of Aqualung's Game Reviews. See you next time.